Hi Pisces and welcome to my channel, the Zodiac Love Tarot. I'm Jennifer Winters and this is your Pisces May 2020 Astrology Tarot reading. Now, if you've been to my channel before, you probably know that I usually use my Celestial Tarot deck and that deck has uh, a lot of Greek mythology symbols, um, constellations and Zodiac symbols. But this time I got, while, while I was channeling this uh, incredible uh, feeling that I needed to uh, do something that, very futuristic that really drove a message home for you guys for the month of May because I feel like a lot of answers need to be revealed to you and I also know that with you being a Pisces you have a lot of psychic abilities to show us some other things so we may even get a message from from you guys in the cards this time from this Celtic cross that I'm about to do so this is like an ancient Celtic cross it really uh, opens up your eyes to what you're going through and flushes it out. It's less of like an allegory like these particular cards are. So uh, I'm hoping to see a really interesting story coming from you, uh, Pisces, this time. So let's just get started. All right. So I'm doing the covering card, the bridge, the root, uh, the past, the outcome. We're going to do the future here. And then we're also going to do the self and the environment hopes and fears and then also we're going to do the another outcome card okay so i had a revelation about you guys the last time because if you look back on your yearly reading for the month of i mean so far so, <laughs> sorry i mean for the year 2020 i was saw that there was a lot of uh predictions even in your reading so I'm wondering if this is going to also give me predictions coming from this uh, you know Pisces energy so let's just see what's what's going on here okay all right so the first card is going to be the covered card and that's going to be what you are feeling right now or what your current situation is or what your inquiry is or what you're going through. Now, I don't know if this is going to resonate with everyone, but I did channel a lot of ener your energy into these cards uh, before I shuffled them. And when I, what I was feeling there is that you, that you guys do have some sort of uh, psychic message to send to us. So let's see what that is. And it could be something personal, but we'll, we'll work through it and see what happens. Okay. So, this is the High Priestess. Yes, so I'm already seeing from you, Pisces, that there is a message. The High Priestess always uh, sends messages down. She is a connection between the divine and earth, and her messages are something that usually translates to, like, all humanity. So, this is good. We're on a good start. Okay, I, I can't wait. And do you see the two pillars? Is she sitting between? So this is also something that could uh, affect us uh, globally. And also I'm feeling some uh, Scorpio energy coming from this card for some reason. And I think that has to do with we have the full moon in Scorpio on May the 7th. So some things are going to be revealed at that time too. So maybe some of that energy is coming through to have secrets being revealed. So let's see what else. We have the next card is going to be the bridge card. So along this path of this message that you're sending out, uh, this is going to be the bridge you cross to get to us. And it's also going to be uh, a bridge that could be, you know, rickety and shaky, or it could be a bridge that's stable, or it could be a person along the along your path that gives a message or helps usher your message along. So uh, let's just see what it is. Okay, the Queen of Wands. Okay, so this tells me that your message is one of uh, manifestation. It's one of uh, moving things forward. It's one about having abilities and capabilities. And it's also about um, seeing, the, seeing the truth of a matter, okay? And it's also about just, it's another stately type thing. Um, it's almost it seems like you're trying to tell us something about uh, the people who look out for our well-being or the people who look out for uh, our 
finances is what I'm kind of feeling right now. So let's just see what this next card is. This is the root card. It's what's subconsciously driving your decisions right now. Or in this particular reading, it's what is driving your message. Okay. The, what your what your motives are. Okay. So it's a, oh, okay. It is about, it's the Ten of Cups, but it's upside down. And so your message is about, it's about family. It's about your about warning people about uh, the safety of their family. It's about uh, telling us that we need to be careful somehow, or that our, our fulfilling our dreams are, uh, are, could be out of our reach for some reason, okay? Or because this card is in reverse. So this is a pretty powerful message that you're sending. I, you know, when I first started doing this channel, I didn't realize that a lot of these messages that when I did a Pisces reading were so psychic. And so I'm also trying to take heed of uh, you guys' abilities to uh, tell us all a lot of stuff. So I'm really also going to go back and tell the rest of my uh, viewership to always check out your particular you know, message, because I think it, it always has something to do with not just you, but, you know, whatever you're trying to put out into the universe. So this is the past. This is something that, that you've heard about or something that's influenced your message um, that you're carrying with you. It could be also something positive um, that just gives you this strength and this ability to bring us this message. Okay, it's the here of that. Okay, and it's upside down. So this is telling me that your message has to do with or something in the past where you couldn't trust your the traditions or you couldn't trust maybe even the government or something the government has done uh, led you to believe that they didn't have everyone's best interest. So you're trying to send a message that not to just blindly follow whatever you hear, whatever you read, whatever you see, um, and that uh, you need to really uh, gather information that's going to benefit your family and do the best that you can for, for them because you want this card for everyone to be upright. And this is also saying to me that you guys are trying to secure the future for your children, okay? Wow, this is pretty heavy stuff. But then, you know, once I realized that a lot of this is what was happening with Pisces, giving me these messages, I, I started to just kind of take a different look at it. Okay, so this is what is the outcome of all of this. This is the outcome of your message, and it's the page of wands. So this is telling me that you're doing this for the youth. You're doing this so that um, the children can benefit. You're doing this so that uh, they have a better future, a brighter future, so that they can manifest. So your message, which is a little bit unclear right now, but I, I feel like it, I, I don't know, I think it kind of did clear it up, this one right here, for the most part, is you're saying don't, you're telling us to tell our kids not to always believe what they hear, not to always trust that they're being told the right thing or that they need to uh, make up, they need to find facts and they need to rely on their own common sense and their own moral compass. I, that's what I'm feeling from this reading. Whew. Okay, Pisces, this is a lot. Okay, but it's for the youth, it's for their well-being, it's for the future so that they can manifest, and I think this is a beautiful, beautiful message. Whew. Okay, so this is going to be the future um, card. This is the card where you're going to tell us, you know, what what's going to pop up for us. Is it going to be something good? Is it going to be something that we have to be cautious about, something we need to sidestep? Like, it, it's going to be something we're going to meet in the future based on what you're telling us. Okay. Okay, the star card. 
Okay, but it is upside down. Okay, the star card, it's upside down. So I'm just going to look at my notes to see if there was something about when we talk about the star card in reverse. It's saying that depression and illness and arrogance and impotence and being ignored. Okay. Wow, that's pretty heavy. Okay, so in what this is telling me is that in the future, if we don't heed your message, then the youth are going to be ignored. And they're not going to be able to thrive the way that they should. And this, you know, they're, they're not going to be able to manifest this if they don't heed your message. I think this is a strong message. And it's scary in a way because you're saying that, you know, with this being upside down, that they could be easily ignored. So there, I think that also with, I'm feeling a lot of Gemini energy coming through right now. And it's, you know, we do have Gemini coming. We have Mercury coming into Gemini on May the 11th. And then we have the sun and moon in, around May 20th and 22nd going into Gemini. So I'm also feeling that this, what's channeling through from you is that, that these, our kids need to learn to speak out for themselves. And they need to learn to change the narrative. And that's what Gemini energy does. It sends messages, it changes narratives, it, it uh, opens lines of communication. Uh, maybe you're saying also that they need to start some sort of independent um, site where it's for the people, by the people, like if, apart from like Facebook. Oh, this is, whoa, this is heavy. Like apart from the things that are owned by other people. Uh, well, that sounds interesting. I mean, I, that, I don't even know where that came from, but that's a message that I just felt like I just channeled through here. Okay, well, I will definitely heed that advice, uh, or at least try and, you know, see if um, that's, you know, going to come up in the future. I mean, put, maybe put that message out there. I think I just did on my channel. <laughs> but this, I feel like that's what you just taught me. Okay, so also Pisces, let's go on to the next one, which is um, yourself. So this is about you. This is something that is your your strengths, your weaknesses, the weaknesses that you need to turn into strengths. So this is not going to be necessarily a message to us, but more of something that you need to heed to continue on this um, path or, or to clarify your own thoughts, really. Okay, so you've got the uh, Seven of Wands and that is upside down. Okay, so that this is your ability really to manifest right now. You, I feel like you're struggling to get your message out. So this is a, let me see what the seven of wands, if that's seven of wands. Don't, yeah, this is telling me that you almost feel like you're feeling kind of weak or like or like your boundaries are not there being closed in or yeah i feel this too like there's you feel like quitting almost like you're like it's like you have this sense right now like like nothing's worth it okay but but you know that that's not true so this is just like I want to say that this is coming out like for yourself as like for the month for this particular reading it's a weakness where uh, you're like saying what's the point and not what's the point in all this that's not really what I'm getting it's like um, like you're feeling like 
your message is falling on deaf ears. Like no one's like, like you're at, like you don't have enough control over the situation and it's just going to spiral out of control no matter what you do. That's where I'm getting it. It's just that you're feeling like this, everything's going to spiral out of control. So, so you're not speaking up as much, or you're not projecting your message as much, or you're not standing out as much. Um, it, 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 so I would say to you right now, don't do that. Always keep reiterating your message, whether it's just to your kids, I mean, or whether it's, I mean, you may not have kids, but if it's to your family or if it's to your people that you work with or whatever, this message that you're trying to get out about the betterment of, of youth is what it looks like. Uh, so just don't give up because we don't want you to give up or don't hold it in or don't stop uh, or always spread your message if that's what you feel like you need to do. Okay, so I'm also going to have some uh, on my channel, uh, a chakra unblocking of, that I'm going to do this month and it's going to do all seven chakras. I really want you to look at your throat chakra. And I want that to be unblocked because I feel like right now your weakness is a blocked throat chakra. So come, so definitely meet me for that um, when I do that later this month. I'm just waiting for some stuff to come in uh, for my uh, setup, okay? All right, so the next one is going to be your environment. How do you feel about your environment? Is your environment conducive to you right now or how others perceive you in, your, in the environment? So uh, we're going to take a look at that. Okay, so wow, you've got the Ten of Pentacles right here. Okay, Ten of Pentacles. So, the, so I mean, this card could go a few ways. It could mean, firstly, that someone that your particular situation is that you have enough money in your environment, like you're wealthy enough to survive, you have someone who has wealth in their family, or right now you're looking at this in a different way, like you're looking at wealthy people and you're wondering what's going on with them. Like, is wealthy people uh, controlling things almost? Like, it could go either way, like, but I'm, I'm kind of thinking on the side that you're looking at wealthy people. Like, what is like extremely wealthy people and saying, do they have your best interest? And also do they have your children's best interest in mind going forward into the future? Or like, or if this is a message for all of us, you're saying to look at wealthy people because that's what you're seeing in your environment or, um, or you, that's what you're looking outwardly to and wondering kind of like, you know, what they're up to. Wow, okay, so we'll look at that too. All right, so the next card is going to be um, about your hopes and fears. Okay, so let's just take a look. Okay, so the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and it's upside down. So your hope is that you would have this card upright, which is the be the queen of cups having it upright is that there's enough compassion for everyone, but you're afraid that there's not, or is there enough um, understanding for people? Is there enough um, humanity going on? Is there, you know, enough, um, is, is there a, enough people thinking about our future for us? So that's what I'm getting from this card is that, that is, or, you know, this is something that you're channeling through right now. I mean, this may not be something you're always thinking about, or it's always a fear, but I do think that right now your fear is that there's not enough compassion for people, and that you hope, your hope is that this bad will turn around. And maybe when we do have, you know, this younger generation coming through, we are actually entering into the age of Aquarian, and I did a video if you go back and look at the Aquarius videos for last month, I was talking about ushering in the age of Aquarian. So I personally think that we are going to have enough humanity and enough compassion moving forward because I felt like I saw it and I channeled it in and in through 
sort of the uh, cosmic collective that that was going to happen. But and and that this thing that's happening now uh, to to us this pandemic that it's uh, it, it's breaking down old systems and that we are ushering in a new system of compassion and that I feel like some of these people who that are, are the eyes that you're ha that these things that you're looking at in the environment I'm I'm getting the sense that they're going to be that it's going to be exposed and then that's going to change things for all of us so okay so I have your same I mean, like in in a sense I have those same concerns Okay, so this is the outcome card of the message that you're trying to send us, okay? Whew. All right. All right, the Knight of Cups, okay, and it's upside down again. So this is, again, from you as the outcome as another warning is that we need to usher in some sort of, comp again, with the cups, we need to have more compassion. We need to have more leaders out there who have our best interest in mind, who can offer us some compassion, some uh, sympathy, some compassion, some answers going towards the future that go that's going to benefit uh, humanity. So that's the outcome of your message. Like we need to have this moving forward. We need to have this marching on. We need to take a stance. We need to be the knights that uh, usher this in. We need to have some sort of stake in this and or hold our flags high and say this is what we demand and this is what we want. And that's what I feel like your message is. Oh my gosh, what a message. I'm I'm getting chills. See, it, it's so weird like in the beginning of doing this reading, I could say that okay, let's get into your personal life or let's get into what's going on with you right now. That's what I had been doing for the rest of the zodiacs for this month is really getting into more personal uh problems, but then I knew it. I just felt it that you were that there was a message and that you were going to channel it, Pisces. And I even had skipped over uh, Capricorn and Aquarius before I did those because I felt this thing, I felt this message coming in so strongly from you that um, you wanted some, you wanted to say something or you wanted to have a message for everybody. So I am going to link other people to your videos so that you could see it. And then if you did need something more personal, I'm sorry, but that like I tell people that I it's the it's the loudest voice in the room or the loudest group of Pisces in the room that I hear and then I channel that through but if there is something else you're going through don't hesitate to call me uh, I'm sorry to email me at askjenniferwinters at gmail.com because I'll certainly do like a personal reading for you if you have something personal that you want to talk about and then also you can always leave a comment down below and uh, tell me you know uh, what else you need to hear because I can uh, try to make a video for next time about that or, and then also just leave a like and uh, share this with somebody because it seems like you probably want this message to get to more people so share it and then also or please share it and then subscribe to the channel so you can keep getting messages uh, and we can also still learn from you as well because this was very this was a, a wake-up call if you will so thank you so much, Pisces, for coming to the channel. I hope that wasn't too deep for you. <laughs> and if it was, um, th that was a message from your fellow Pisces out there who sent that. So, all right. Thank you so much. And I will hopefully see you in, um, in June. And then also I'm doing those chakra unblocks. So just look out for that on my channel. I'll have it listed down below under topics. Okay. Thank you and take care.